We need to take Penelope down. But how? Man, we need Bentley back. I am still a bit bewildered that the Black Knight was a friend of yours. Yeah, well, obviously she's no friend of ours now. In the face of such treachery, there is but one option. We storm the castle and smash this villain! Okay, slow down, Turbo. How do we get inside the castle? That? I know not. However, I do know how we may create some exceedingly useful explosive devices. You and I must part ways. I will gather fire bulbs while you must procure a bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Of course. And where would I get this? Why, at the carnival, of course. I hope your archery skills are satisfactory. Oh, I think I'm up to snuff. Then the die is cast! Fare thee well! <laughs> I seek the elusive firebulb. Three should be sufficient. How much this running makes me want a horse. One good smack and it should open forthwith. Ah, no finer specimen will be found. Now to ferret out two more. These bulbs will surely make impressive bombs. is needed. <laughs> Yea, verily, I need but one more bow. Alas, this heavy armor is quite stuffy. One would never have guessed the Black Knight was a lady. A swift strike should dislodge it. I hope Sly has given his archery much practice. Ladies and gents, try your luck in our game of skill. Well, hello, Governor. Want to have a go? Do well enough, and you could win yourself one genuine bottle of Merlin's magic powder. Guaranteed to cure despair, curl your hair, and answer your prayer. So, how is it for making bombs? I get it some fire bulbs in its bang zoom combustion. I believe you are a ringer, I do. Oh, beautiful aim, boy -o. Wicked shot, geezer. Ah, oh, tip top, then. Oh, <laughs> you've got the eye, friend. Well, that is how you do it, me son. Oh. Come on now, don't be so namby pamby. Now that's a ticket. Good shot, lad. Oh, that's a trick. Cool, mate. You're dead on. A 
Excellent, lad. You're a natural, you are. Cool, mate. You're dead on. Now that's a ticket. Oh, that's a trick. Oh, <laughs> you got the eye, friend. Oh, beautiful aim, boy -o. Brilliant shooting, boy. All right, troops, listen up. As you all know, Bentley is still unavailable. But we've got to come up with a plan. So I'm calling this meeting for him. Hey, Carmelita. Quiet, Ringtail. We don't have time for your smart remarks. We've got to hit Penelope before she can finish whatever it is she's trying to finish. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to ask. Look, it's pretty simple. We need to get into that castle. We've got the explosives. I was going to bring that up, too. Not another word, Sly. Your speech does nothing to lift our spirits, Sly. Galeth, do you think we could plant your explosives on the bridge controls? Sounds! This plan rings true! Okay, everyone get ready to move out. After that bridge comes down, we'll have to get in there fast. Sorry, I missed the part about what we do when we get inside. We'll have to improvise. Sounds good to me. I'll sally forth and smash that mechanical monstrosity! No! Gallop, wait! Why, thank you, Gallop. I've been looking all over for that. making her escape! I don't think so. Go 
more one for the good guys. Lucky shot, Cooper, but you're a big friend. Penelope, I saw some rust spots over there. Okay, the core is exposed. Great. Looks like I gotta take those arms out again. What's wrong, Penelope? Feeling disarmed? I love you like a clock! I see you! You can't win this, Sly! Ready, Cooper. It's time to pay the fiddler. That's enough, Penelope. Huh? You heard me. Bentley, your suit, is that my... my moat monster? Yeah, what's left of it, anyway. The design was... adequate. I made some adjustments. Hmm. It was just a prototype, anyway. Why'd you do it, Penelope? You owe me that much, at least. Why? For you, of course. I had to make you see how things could be. I'm not going to be one of the bad guys, Penelope. Ha! Huh, bad guys? That's kind of funny, Bentley, seeing as how you work for a thief. But you know the most <laughs> valuable thing Sly ever stole? Your potential. Together, we could change the world, but you're still chasing after honor for jump change. When are you gonna wake up? So you sold out to La Paradox for the money? No, you're not listening. He's just a means to an end. Wow, and I thought you were smart. Do you really think he's going to just let you go? He owns you now. You're his puppet. And when you've served your purpose, he's going to cut your strings. I'm nobody's puppet. Too bad I can't say the same for you. I'm sorry, Bentley, but I guess it's time to make this breakup official. Penelope, wait! We don't have to do it like this! Oh, I think we do. It's time to cut some strings for good. Best you've got. Oops, looks like I just voided your warranty. Oh, still, shell boy. Ah, you call that vector analysis? I'm gonna recycle you. Hold still, 
shell boy. Those pneumatics are pathetic. Do the math, Bentley. You've got zero chance. Sounds like somebody's frying some circuits. Thanks, Bentley. Look, I'm sorry about Penelope. No, Sly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help you guys the whole time. It's okay. She fooled us all, pal. I guess. But that's no excuse for me not being there. I lost sight of my true friends. That won't happen again. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, we could use some help over here! Sounds like they need some help getting out of there. Know anyone that could swing that? Well, I do know this one guy, but he's probably busy, so... I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Bentley. We contacted Dimitri, who started in about sandstorms and camel spit. Well, we finally deciphered enough to realize it was my ancestor Salim al Kupar who was in trouble now. Which meant we needed to get to ancient Arabia on the double. This time, Carmelita provided the solution. Before the Paradox grabbed her back at the museum, she'd managed to pocket a gold coin as evidence. And our luck held, as it turned out the antique gold piece was exactly what we needed. As we prepared to leave, everyone was keeping an eye on Bentley. He downplayed his heroics and refused to acknowledge that he'd saved us all. I sensed a new confidence in him, which I guess had come from finally confronting his personal demons. He'd been through so much, but when it really mattered, he bounced back stronger than ever. I was sure about two things. I couldn't be more proud of Bentley, and we were gonna need every ounce of his newfound strength to take down the paradox. We'd travel to ancient Arabia to find Salim al Kupar, an ancestor said to possess the stealth of 40 thieves. No surprise then when Bentley's research revealed that this guy was a charter member of the infamous 40 Thieves. For once, it appeared we'd have plenty of backup to help out with this job. When we arrived, however, we were shocked to find that most of the thieves had already retired. Having made their fortunes and gotten older, these great thieves had decided to call it quits and enjoy the golden years in peace. What wasn't shocking was the unmistakable presence of Cyril the Paradox. Nasty looking guards patrolled everywhere and it was clear that something sinister was going on. After some detective work, Bentley had even worse news. No one had seen Salim al Kupar for some time. He had been working with a few of the remaining thieves but had simply vanished. So where was he? That was the first thing we needed to figure out.
Okay, Sly. Word on the street is that Salim al Kupar was driven into hiding, but that he's still in the area. We need to figure out where he's hiding, and then find out why. To facilitate that, I've built you a new toy. Cool. Is it a robotic turtle butler? No. After gathering data from your ancestors, I've been able to map the Cooper DNA. I've modified your binoculum with a new visual guidance system that I've programmed to detect anything with which Salim al Kupar may have come in contact. Wow, Bentley. That's some real science fiction. and scan the surrounding areas. You should see a glow. Sly, that door definitely does not belong here. You'd better get a picture of that as well so I can analyze it. Okay, Sly, you should get out of there and head for the village while I sort this out. I've marked a waypoint for you. Huh? <laughs> 
Greetings. You're Salim Al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself? How about you go lick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. He told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement, Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music. Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music, normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. 
I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. Apparently, Salim lost a small fortune betting on the camels a while back and had to pawn his thief outfit. Sly, if we could buy that outfit back for Salim, I'm sure we could gain his trust. The shopkeeper is a security freak, a real head case. His place is a fortress and he never leaves. All business is conducted through a slot in the door. I think this is one time we're going to have to play it straight and pay the man what he wants. As you might imagine, his price is pretty steep. The shopkeeper will only accept payment in the form of flawless gemstones. Three to be exact. The only gems of that quality around here are the decorative stones embedded in the city walls. I've located the three largest specimens for you. All you have to do is remove them, avoid the guards, and bring them to the shop. Just make sure those gems are still flawless when you get there.
sure you get those gems to the shop in one piece. I'm here to buy the thief outfit. Sorry, I do not believe one such as yourself could meet my price. Good day. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, I guess I'll just have to go bet these gems on the camel races. Wait, you have gems? Let me see. Man, these rocks are so heavy, I can barely lift them. You want the gems, I want the outfit. Do we have a deal? Indeed. If you want to purchase these old rags, who am I to object? All sales final, no returns. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect opportunity for a little eavesdropping. Great idea. Just one thing. That outfit won't fool these guards. They know the locals and they'll peg you for a stranger immediately. You should just stay out of sight. Thanks for the info, Bentley. I'm on my way. Fly, press the triangle button to use that door. <laughs> Way to go, Sly! Now you better get going! Sly, don't let anyone see you! If the guards see you, it's over, Sly! You should warn me before you do that! You know, Cherie, I think this climate really agrees with you. Your skin is much less... wrinkly. How kind of you to say, darling, and every word is true. <laughs> so, please tell me the operation is going according to plan. Of course. Everything is progressing splendidly. I have those raggedy little thieves completely under my control. I've never seen better forgeries. The documents they are producing are of the highest quality. Perfect. Once I get them back to the present day, and my royal lineage is discovered, my wealth and power will be unstoppable. Well, <laughs> there is one tense little problem. <laughs> we still need to feed our little worker bees, but our supplies are running low. The one who calls himself the Panther seems to work best when I feed him scorpion claws. Disgusting! <laughs> yeah, very well. I shall have some delivered immediately. Whatever it takes to keep these vermin working. Oh, and one more thing. Tell your guards if they don't capture Cooper, I will have them all fired and then executed. Why did you hear that? They're creating a false royal identity for Le Paradox in the present day. If that happens, you'll be close where to untouchable. Trunk. They also need a delivery. A panther needs scorpion claws. Maybe we can make that work for us. It must be yours, the camel hair. 
When I catch Cooper, I'm going to celebrate by killing him. Hmm, I could swear I heard something. My dear, how graceful you are. You are like an entire dancing troupe. Well, if you... <laughs> and I just had my tail shampooed. Did I mention I love your new perfume? It has such a delightful hint of peanuts. Why, thank you, Cyril doll. Tell me, what do you think of this little sand pit? Well, darling, this dry environment plays absolute havoc with my sinuses. <laughs> my music practice has been atrocious lately. Would you like to hear that? Not really, but... I want you to hear me. Do not fail me like those other idiots, Shari. I'd hate to see you stranded here permanently. Oh, I, uh, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Good, because the others have failed. Even Penelope, and she was the smart one. But now I have to turn my back on her. You understand. Oh, yes, of course. Everything will go precisely as planned. Uh, Although, I must trouble you for some camel cheese. Absolutely horrid stuff, but the thief called the tiger seems to rely on it, and our reserves are almost depleted. Can't we just starve these filthy hoodlums into submission? Ah, fine. I will send a delivery boy. Or a delivery. Sly, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Of yours is one of the camel cheese. Thank you. I must remember to bring a handkerchief next time. <laughs> ah, this heat is so unpleasant. I should create another ice. So, any more requests? Oh, no, sweetums. I believe that's all. As soon as the documents are complete, I will deliver them personally. Magnifique! Then I should have them very soon. Oh, wait. There is one lost itty bitty little thing. <laughs> the one called the lion seems to favor Cobra tails, and you know how troublesome those are to obtain. Fine, you shall have them. But I had better get those papers quickly. Boy, I'd hate to be the guy that has to collect the cobra tails. I'm feeling a bit peckish. Must be hard. Fly, I've got a crazy idea. That outfit may not work on the guards, but I bet outsiders like La Paradox and Miss Decibel would know the difference. She's expecting deliveries for the thieves, right? Try using the outfit to impersonate the delivery boy. If they buy it, we'll know where the thieves are being kept. Excellent idea, Bentley. And just to ensure it's foolproof, I'm gonna use my... No, Sly, don't say it! Italian accent! I said crazy, Sly, not suicidal. <laughs> While wearing the thief outfit, press the R2 button to activate your ability. Sly, press the triangle button to use that... And who is this little... Peep squeak. Yes, identify yourself immediately. It's a me, uh, the delivery boy. You are called? Uh... Hmm, I don't recognize your scruffy features. The other boys are out to seek. Uh, something about the snake bites. Is there something wrong with your voice? No, uh, I've been uh, talking like this my whole life. Uh... How droll. I see. Well, if you're really the delivery person, then you would know the usual orders, no? What a food does the panther require? Why, the panther loves the scorpion claws. Hmm. He appears to be legitimate. <sighs> Thank goodness. Here are the delivery locations. Hurry up, please. Sly, it's a good thing we're in Arabia, because in Italy that accent would be considered a felony. Now let's go rescue those thieves.
Okay, Selene. We know that Decibel has the Panther somewhere in that tower. Trying to go through the palace itself would be impossible. Luckily, this carpet shop is going to save us the trouble. Ah, yes. Honest Hassan's carpets. He owns many, many shops, but he is not so honest. Trust me. In fact, we used to run a flying carpet scam where he would pretend to be... Kind of pressed for time here. Fine. Please continue. So, according to my diagrams, the shop is connected to the tower. There's a vent system on the side of the building. All you have to do is crawl through the vents, and it will lead you straight into the shop. From there, you can make your way through the shop's interior to the tower. <laughs> you make it sound so easy. I would like to see you crawl through vents when you are my age. Talk to you inside the shop. Good luck! <laughs> I wonder if this Bentley will have me jumping through hoops next. First, I grab the rope. Then I press the R2 button to climb up or down like <laughs> lightning. Wait, this room doesn't match my blueprints? It must have been renovated recently. Give me a minute to figure this out. Oh, by Aladdin's beard. Do you not know that rule number 37 in the Thieves Handbook is expect the unexpected, foresee the unforeseen, predict the unpredictable? Keep your turban on. My sonar readings show an old passageway through a cave system beneath the floor. Let's see. Massive payload, angle of incident, relative humidity divided by two. Got it. Salute. If we could drop that pallet of carpet to the corner, it should slash a hole in the floor straight through to the caverns below. We? It seems that I will be doing all the work. How about we just talk when you reach the passageway? <laughs> I had a magic lamp. I would wish for this job to be over. Whoa, those are some giant Diablo scorpions. Nasty. You probably just want to avoid them, but destroying those nesting mouths will clear them out. Keep moving forward and you should reach the base of the tower. Oh no, I just stuck my hand in... Can I bring you back some scorpions, Bentley? They taste just like chicken. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. Keep going, Selene. The tower entry point is just above your current position. All right, Selene, you're in. Now you just have to 
make your way to the top of the tower. Of course, climbing, my favorite. I don't see an access point, but that lever looks worth investigating. And be careful not to stir up the scorpion nests in here. I'd rather be riding a camel with three humps. Gotcha! is lost. No, we just need to disable the device before freeing him. But we have to proceed carefully, or we risk turning his brain into jelly. What is this jelly? Oh, uh, mm. sort of like mm. Baba Ganoush or hummus, mm. but fruity. Mm. Exactly. Just give me a closer look at that thing so I can turn <gasps> it off. My brother, are you all right? Oh, oh, my head. Where am I? You have been imprisoned, hypnotized, and compelled to create forgeries by that evil elephant. But I have freed you from her mesmerizing music. With, you know, some assistance. 
That's nice. I'm hungry. Did you bring me anything to eat? Perhaps some nice roasted scorpion tails? Maybe some camel milk? Amazing! I climb halfway to the stars to rescue you, and you expect camel milk? Why do I bother? <laughs> Why, this is going to get dicey. Security has definitely been beefed up. Those turrets are too well protected to attack directly. Ordinarily, I'd hack the security system, but that might take some time, and we need to hurry. There's no telling when Decibel might move the lion again. This may be our only chance. So, what are you thinking, Bentley? I think we need to use some smoke and mirrors. Uh, minus the mirrors. Meaning... I'll use the RC chopper to drop smoke bombs at strategic points, which should keep the turrets from seeing you. Then, since Salim knows this city like the back of his hand, he can guide you to a secure location. Hopefully he's had his nap today. <sighs> Just make sure you get to a safe spot before the smoke clears, otherwise you're gonna be missile bait. I could drop smoke bombs with the R1 button and boost my speed with the L1 button. All right, Bentley, bombs away. Mines everywhere! I hate mines. about so many mines. Right on target. There goes my paint job. There goes my paint job. All right, Bentley. Bombs away. Baby, hold together! Oh yeah, right on the butt! Whoa! How do you like them smoke signals? Talk about a smoke break! Look out! Good job, Bentley! Okay, Sly, it's all you! Okay, Celine, we're on. Follow me closely. And don't fall behind. Don't worry about me. I'll be right on your tail. The speed boost will get me out of trouble and away from enemy attacks. Give me some cover, pal. about direct hit I hate mine Dang it Nailed it Oh 
Age before beauty. No, 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 you mean wisdom before youth. Would you two get going? Just waiting on the wise guy, Bentley. Time for the smoke, buddy. About a smoke break. Bombs away. How do you like that smoke signal? Whoa! That'll smoke him out. Sesame. That outfit makes you a better thief, Sly, not a genie. Now, why don't you help me with this door? <laughs> Close, Sesame. Eh, so you got lucky. Whew! The stench in here is making my eyes water. I feel sorry for your friend. That decibel is really cruel. Well, unfortunately, that might be the lion's socks. He always hated doing laundry. Oh, well, maybe she was just protecting her sense of smell. Fly! I'm about to explode from code! Yeah, that was a
charmed like a snake and could not break free. That was no nightmare, my friend. Salim, you were in my dream too. You brought me many delicious snacks. What is with you guys and all the food? Salim, who is this insolent pup? Oh, don't worry about him. He is a friend who helped rescue you. In fact, he is my assistant. Assistant? What are you talking about? Why? Play along. It's better if less people know what's going on anyway. Great. It's gonna be a long day. Oh, and don't forget what's left of that device slide. I'm almost done with a little invention of my own.
sorry, the thief known as the Tiger is being held inside that taxi shop. My data shows the interior is small, but well reinforced. Also, there don't appear to be any guards inside at the moment. I think this one is pretty straightforward. You and Sly go in through the front door. After that, your muscles should be enough to handle the situation. No problem, Bentley. My mighty biceps are itching to go to work. Right there! This is gonna be easier than taking pizza from a baby! <laughs> I think you mean candy, buddy. Oh yeah! I love candy! I think we need to be careful here, Murray. Something feels off. Sure, pal. But it looks like we found the secret entrance to something. Sly! Murray, come in! I'm there! Bentley? I think you're breaking up. Sly, I don't think I can get over this wall. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. And we seem to have lost the Banakicom link with Bentley. Don't worry. Let's just keep moving forward. Hmm. There's bound to be a way out around here somewhere. Hey, Sly! I see some kind of weird switch up here. I'm gonna give it a try. Go for it, pal. I'm kind of stuck right now anyway. in my way. If I get any closer, it's gonna turn me into Hippo Burger. Okay, Murray. Let me see if I can do something from my end.
helps Murray out. Great! Time to inflict my fists on that trap! Go, big guy. I'll meet you on the other side. Oh, nuts! Another one of those annoying, spinny things. I'll have to wait for Sly. Nice of you to join us. Sly, are you and Murray all right? Something knocked out communication. Did you take a fall? Sort of. It's a long story. But are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? It sure is. I can't wait to... Too bad you can't touch it. Wait, what? Sorry, Sly. If you touch anything, you're going to alert the guards. Just stepping on those coins could do it. You need to leave this treasure alone. And don't forget to use Salim's outfit to navigate the trickier jumps. Sly, that priceless treasure is Sinbad's legendary goblet. History tells us it was recovered by your ancestor, Henrietta One-Eye Cooper, the famous female pirate, but not until the year 1616. Taking it now could cause any number of anomalies to the time continuum and the Cooper timeline. You might even prevent yourself from becoming a thief. <laughs> Point taken. I'll crack you like a coconut! Murray should be good to go. Great! 
great! Time to inflict my fists on that track! <laughs> Sorry, sharks. The Murray's nobody's free lunch. I should take those cannons out first. This cannon is awesome. A machine! Those sharks look as hungry as Murray. I think you better step on it, Sly. That ship is starting to sink. Sly, that ship is definitely sinking. Get moving. This guy looks like Murray that time he won that burrito eating contest. That's a bad memory. Ugh, I couldn't ride in the van for months. Although this is reminding me more of the time when Murray was brainwashed by the Contessa. However, this machine is using some kind of music to adjust his brainwaves and control his behavior. It's fascinating. In a completely obscene bad guy kind of way, of course. Well. I wouldn't mind having one of these to control Murray's appetite. According to my readings, it's too risky to just disconnect him. He might never come out of the trance. I need you to examine the device so I can hack it and shut it off. Good job, Sly. Time for me to open up a can of Wolfaski.
to get the data key, I better switch back. Alright, I can use the data key to disable that firewall. That's David. Who are you? Relax, pal. I'm a friend of Salim's. Oh, Salim. Did he give you anything for me? Like all the money he owes me for betting on the camel races? Uh, sorry. You'll have to take that up with him. I most certainly will. the security system in the village, but Miss Decibel has retreated to her private office above the library. We need to get in there so we can plant a bug and find out what's going on. 
However, my schematic show the building is heavily secured, and it appears only someone with your climbing ability can gain access. I do not understand. How will putting an insect in there tell us anything? At most, it will just annoy her. No, not that kind of bug. This is a small device that can transmit sound, so we can listen to her conversation. Oh, does it also bite? Look, don't worry about the bug. Right now, I need you to find a way into that study so you can let me in. I'll take over from there. All right, Bentley. I will find a way inside while you play with your bug. Okay, Celine, I need you to plant that bug in Miss Decibel's office, but first we need to get her out of there. I've reprogrammed those transmitters she was using on your friends with some new music. Once you place them around the room and I activate them, she's gonna come running. How do you know this? Because she happens to be a music snob, and I'm about to give her a dose of something she can't stand. Good old rock and roll! I do not care for rocks and rolling either. No, it's... Never mind. Just get those transmitters in place. They have any good cookbooks in here? All this climbing is going to turn me into a monkey. the meerkat. Good job, Salim. One down, two to go. Anyone read this many books? Just thinking about it gives me a headache. This change breaks so easily. Maybe I need to go on a diet. All right, just one more transmitter. Yes, yes, there is always one more thing with you, is there not?
Why did my skin have to be climbing? Why not sleeping? Perfect, Celine. I'll take it from here. There. I hope you are happy. Please, just tell me there are no snakes involved. Once I activate those transmitters with my darts, Miss Decibel will be dancing to a different tune. Okay, the old dart gun is ready for action. Bingo! Right on target! being paranoid. I better be careful. This one's right there. Oh, it's steady, Bentley. to that corner shelf to have a clear shot at that transmitter. <laughs> Nailed it! Time to turn up the volume! All right, now I just have to activate those transmitters and get this party started. <laughs>
Thanks to our bug in Miss Decibel's office, we now have all the information we need. It appears she has been producing counterfeit documents for La Paradox, creating a false family history that will make him an esteemed member of royalty in the present day. I've managed to inspect some of the documentation, and believe me, if we allow him to get away with this, his wealth and power will make him untouchable. I believe he is planning this to be his last and greatest caper. The key to stopping him begins with us getting through that security door in the lamp shop. I haven't been able to discover what's behind it, but we know that's where Decibel will deliver the papers to La Paradise. However, since we don't want to announce our presence, we need a diversion for the guards. So I've taken the liberty of fashioning an outfit for Carmelita, who will use it to lure the guards away from their posts by, uh, performing a belly dance. What? Possibly your best plan ever, Bentley. I'm sorry I didn't ask, Carmelita, but you're the only one who can pull this off. Uh, Bentley, I, I could do it. I am not getting into that outfit. I realize it's a bit revealing, but think of it as going undercover. Bentley? I'm positive the Murray could squeeze into that thing. Hey, Carmelita, you should model that outfit for us to make sure it fits. Shut up, Ringtail. I'm only doing this for the team. Listen, silk is very elastic. All right, let's move out. We don't have any time to waste. Okay, Carmelita, we need you to distract those guards and get them away from that door. Yeah, bust a move, Carmelita. How about I bust your face, Cooper? We're counting on you, Carmelita. Meet us inside once you can lose the guards. Bentley, you owe me big time for this one. Here you begin! This is the worst undercover assignment ever! Goodness, Interpol will never know about this.
say I will get Bentley back for this. thinking I should go no further. I have passed my greatest wisdom onto you. The last of my friends are now retired, and I have had enough snakes and scorpions and climbing for three lifetimes. Besides, I was thinking someone should watch over Carmelita to make sure she is safe. All right, Salim. We couldn't have made it this far without you, but I think we can handle it from here. You've definitely earned your retirement. Go enjoy it and the belly dancing. Thank you. I win. expecting an underground docking station for La Paradox's blip. No wonder we haven't seen that thing floating around. So what's our next move, Bentley? Well, first we need something to distract those guards so I can get to that control room. I whipped up a surprise for Miss Decimal with the leftover material from Carmelita's outfit, but I think it might work better here. Finally! Just point me in the direction of the changing room and... What the? Perfect. I can use the security cameras to guide the RC car. Go, Val, go! I think I'm going the wrong way. Take out those fans to keep going! 
Control room. Time to show this security. Too easy, overriding security, power grid rerouting, accessing laser network, PC load letters shut down in three, two, one, yes. Uh, Bentley, what just happened? I'm not sure. I have left the trick some kind of fail-safe backup. Hold on a sec. Murray, we can't wait on Bentley. We won't get past those security cannons, and those rat troopers look serious. Murray, remember to use the circle button to stop and pick up things. Use the square button to toss those rats, pal. All right! Time to kick some rodent butt! You nailed it, big guy! Great, Murray. Keep it up. The Murray is a machine! Nice arm, Murray. Sweet, sweet 
destruction! The three musketeers, one step behind as usual, may you never change. And may you always stay downwind. Ah, Cooper, you're so pathetic. You don't even realize you've already lost. We haven't lost yet, the Paradox. Oh no? Bonjour, my large friend. What took you so long? Drat! Celine! Hello, Cyril. I found this filthy old scoundrel unconscious outside. Actually, he's yesterday's trash. Precisely why I threw him away. But I don't understand. I thought you were after him. You're right. You don't understand. I don't care about that old bag of bones. Just his cane. Which, as you can see, I already have. Uh-oh! Double drat! Well, good. Then our deal is complete. I'm coming aboard! Hold that blimp! So sorry, Sherry. But with Monsieur Cooper here, I am afraid the schedule has changed. And I must make my exit now. I cannot risk that flea-bitten rat ruining my plans. and the Paradox establishes a royal ancestry for himself, all of our futures are in peril! You've got to stop them! How Celine? I tried... to stop him. He'll be fine, Sly. Right now, you've got to stop that pachyderm! I'm on it, like stink on a skunk. Hello, Cooper. How do you like my new toy? Well, the face is just this as ugly, but at least Cooper. it doesn't smell. I will orchestrate your demise! Why, those containers look fragile! You'll need to find a way to get across before they break! <laughs> Dancing to this! And the band plays on, eh, Cooper? Oh, better support our statues, but I can stay away from them! And the band plays on, eh, Cooper? Energy cores are deadly, Sly! Stay away from them! You'll never make it, Cooper! <laughs> Wait for me! Ah. 
Without the sword, when you're dead, I'm going to add it to my collection. <gasps> Why don't you come face me and I can deliver it personally? I can hardly wait to get my hands on your cane too, Cooper. Why is it so hard to find the truth? I can't let anyone get a job done. I need it to start hiring. It the dream on, pal. How amusing! The tiny rat chasing the big cheese.
my flip! Well, it would seem this game is finished. How boring. We have already reached maximum weight capacity. Perhaps due to my beautiful new guest? Carmelita! <laughs> Get your paws off me, you noxious windbag! But we had a deal! I made you the documents, and you promised me the lost masterpieces! Mozart, Beethoven, romantic nights on the Riviera! Yes. Well, thank you so much for my papers, but it wouldn't have worked out between us. I'm just not into big noses, and as for your music... Hmm, how can I put this? It stinks worse than I do! <laughs> Why, are you filthy, backstabbing, two-timing scoundrel! <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. And as for you, Cooper, don't even think about trying it. Otherwise, we're going to find out if your girlfriend can fly. I don't see any wings, do you? Touch me again and I'll break both your arms! Sly! Don't worry, Carmelita. This isn't over. Isn't it? In fact, I believe there is a perfect saying for this situation. The fat lady... She has sung. <laughs> Au revoir, Slay Cooper. Ah oh well, c'est la vie. We may have stopped Miss Decibel, but it meant absolutely nothing. We were on the ropes. Le Paradox had beaten us every step of the way, and he held all the cards. Carmelita, my ancestors' canes, and now his fake pedigree. I couldn't remember a time since we teamed up that we felt so defeated. And talking to Dimitri didn't help. He was freaked out and yelling about having to boogie down in skunk town. So as usual, his words made little sense. But the message was clear. We had to get back home fast. We may have been down, but we definitely weren't out. There was too much riding on this. The lives of everyone we cared about, not to mention the very future of our existence. No matter how, we would make things right. So as we roared back through time to Paris, I knew we were in for the fight of our lives. We'd finally made it home to Paris, only to find a place we hardly recognized. It was obvious Le Paradox was now in control, since his face covered the city like a bad rash. The only positive was that Bentley was able to dig up a lot of dirt, including the fact that Le Paradox was from a family of thieves himself. And then we made a major discovery. I knew that my dad's heist of the world's largest diamond had made him a legendary thief. But what I never knew was that Le Paradox's father had planned to steal it first and frame my dad for the crime. Only he was a little too slow and got himself caught instead. 
With his father gone, the paradox had no one to teach him the family business, and after a string of failed jobs, he wound up in prison too. It was here, ironically, that he finally got his criminal education. After his release, the paradox maintained the appearance of a law-abiding citizen. In reality, he used his prison contacts to form his own syndicate and began masterminding heists worldwide. These days, he traveled the globe as a billionaire art collector, while his real business was the trafficking of priceless stolen treasures. Clearly, he blamed the Coopers for his family's past misfortunes, and his plan was to wipe us out completely. I had to find a way to stop it, but first, I had to rescue Carmelita. All right, we all know this is our last shot at stopping La Paradox and rescuing Carmelita. Currently, his blimp is docked outside the museum. I can't pinpoint Carmelita's exact position, but I believe she's being held somewhere near the loading bay. Sly, there appears to be a utility hatch on the blimp's underside that will get you inside. You can use one of the mooring lines to reach it. Once you're in, try to gather as much information as you can. But remember, we'll be right behind you, so don't do anything rash. Murray, I need you to get the van ready. We're gonna need backup for this one. So first, you and I are going on a little recruiting trip. Then we'll rendezvous with Sly inside the blimp and figure out our next move. Okay, I realize it's not the most elaborate plan, but it's the best we've got. So everybody watch your backs and let's go take that skunk down once and for all. Okay, Bentley, I'm in. I can see Carmelita. Just hold on, Sly. We're almost there. You know it's a setup. I know, pal, but I don't have a choice. Just get here as fast as you can. Carmelita! Sly! No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Two hearts in one trap! I knew you could not resist, Cooper. You are so predictable. Oh yeah? Well, how's this for a prediction? I'm gonna kick that stripe right off your tail. Yes, yes, and now comes the big threats from the little man. As I said, predictable. Let us out! You afraid of a fair fight, coward? No, 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 I don't think so. I have something special planned for you too. It is, how do you say, a going away party. Okay, listen up. You all know why you're here. We have to find your canes and get you back where you belong now. If we don't, we'll never be able to repair the damage La Paradox has done. What about Sly? He's on his own for now, Murray, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Sly. Ryuichi, you're up first. My readings show your cane is somewhere in this room. I can sense it too, Bentley-san. Engineers, report to the bridge. It is time to cut. Attention, switches. Make it kick preparation. And I do not want another cheesecake. Red Troopers at 12 o'clock! No time for a 
break, guys. We have to keep moving. There's Bob's cave. Looks like this one is all you, Ryuichi. It is my pleasure, my most hairy ancestor. an energy field shift centered on you yes I sense it is my time to go it has been an honor meeting all of you sayonara it's working the temporal abnormality is correcting itself Bob we need you to get Salim's cave Why do you persist in this game, which you have already lost? You'll never win this paradox! But if you're ready, you are. Again with the climbing? Get going, Salim. We've got some planning to do. Engineering! Get going, Salim. We've got some planning to do. Engineering! Get me more power! I need to move up this schedule. What are you up to, the paradox? Salim, no time for napping. We need to step it up. Oh, if only I had a magic lamp. I would wish for this job to be over. It is too late, Cooper. Your legacy ends tonight. <laughs> Very nice, Salim. Definitely earned your retirement. I salute your excellence, Sir Salim. All right, now that we got Mr. Cranky Pants home safely, we need to press on. Gallop, we 
need your skills to get Tennessee's cane. Verily shall it be in thine command, hence and forthwith. Uh, you talk funnier than a two-headed jackalope, but thanks, amigo. Attention crew! <laughs> you had better do your job! Failure is not an option! Yeah, break those fuses to disable that laser grid! Fortune favors the bold, so boldly shall I attack! Pressure levels critical. Hull breach imminent. Huh. Warning. Power output at 200%. Core temperature. Ah, Give up now while you still have some shred of dignity. You're going back to jail where you belong, the paradox. That sounds bad, Bentley. You think it has anything to do with Sly? I don't know, but it doesn't sound good. We need to get to the bridge. Sir Gallop, time is definitely of the essence. Forsooth, shall I venture forward? Yes! Don't hurry, Cooper. You do Four fuses, Gallop. Take them out and the path should be clear. Indeed! Once more into the breach go I! Fare thee well, you all! More vermin dead ahead! You are completely out of our reach! Tennessee, this looks like a job for you! Just what I was hoping for, Bentley! I've been itching to get in on the action, too! Come on, kid! This is for all the marbles! Those platforms must have a switch somewhere! This is more fun than square dancing with the donkey! Shot here. Ha, Dick. Give up now while you still have. Woohoo! I am the greatest shot ever! Yes. Soon Sly Cooper will be nothing but a bad memory. <laughs> it is too late, Cooper. Your legacy ends tonight. <laughs> Looks like our goose ain't cooked yet! You may have gotten the cage, Turtle, but it doesn't matter anymore. Alright! I guess break time is... Nice shooting! Now, let's find ah, some... alone at last! How cozy! You want cozy? I'm going to throw you and all your friends into the same prison cell! 
Ah, but no! It is the two of you of whom I am thinking. To be together. Forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Le Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this. My marvelous contraption. The time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure is very much like the time machine, no? With one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. And it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon. Free of charge. Bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your 